A police car stolen with weapons and a suspect inside. They go my car with the female in the back. A traffic stop turns into a dramatic chase. Tonight, the defenders have obtained exclusive new video of an unusual police chase. It took place in Oak Park last November. Unusual because uh, police were chasing after one of their own police cars. It was stolen right off the street at the scene of the crime. And even worse, there was a drunk driving suspect handcuffed in the back seat. Defender Kevin Dietz has the video and the kidnap victim story. It was a night 27 year old Shanae Hunter will never forget. She had just been arrested on suspicion of drunk driving when a complete stranger jumps in the patrol car she's in and takes off. It took a dangerous high speed chase to rescue her. Tonight, she shares her story of a wild ride. This is Shanae Hunter as her nightmare is coming to an end. She is crying for help, distraught and discombobulated. A stranger just stole the cop car she was in. Take a look just a few minutes earlier as the cop car leaves the scene with her handcuffed in the back. It's Oak Park here. We got somebody stole one of our uh, patrol cars. They're going north on Greenfield. It races down busy roads. Is it it's, a fully marked car? It's a fully marked, yeah. It's going to be a fully marked. It's going to be our Crown Victoria. With police weapons inside. Does the car have a weapon in it? Got a shotgun and a rifle. At speeds over 80 miles per hour. She is in a patrol car. She's in the back hand cup. Running stop signs. Northland Beverly 46. 46 miles an hour. Okay, he's blowing stop signs. Anyone have Greenfield covered? Crashing into two different cars. He struck one of their patrol cars now. Sounds like he's going west. I was in a back seat handcuff, uh, flying from window to window. With every turn of the car, Shania was slammed, bumped, and bruised. I couldn't have my hands restrain me from hitting the window in the dashboard flopping around unable to protect herself I'm sliding from window door to door window to window her mom says she could have been killed I'm glad to have her with me today because I could have had a funeral or anything you know could have had a funeral but I'm glad she's here here's how it all went down Shanae was off to the side of the road with a flat tire Oak Park police pulled up to help they suspected Shanae was drinking and put her through several sobriety tests they noticed this man, Dewan Rollins, lurking around. An officer escorts him away from the scene. Then, as Shania was in the back of the squad car and officers were going through her car, Rollins jumps in the squad car, slowly pulls up to the officers, and then takes off. They go from my car with the female in the back. What's going on in my hazard embassy? Okay, she's in your patrol car. She's her. Uh, female is in my car. Shania asked him why. I asked him what was he doing. He said he was trying to save me. The police was trying to kill me. After running for several miles at high speeds, Rollins found himself at a dead end street. Police arrested him without incident. <laughs> Shania's calls for help would soon be answered. Her attorney, Nick Bennett, says Shania learned a lesson about drinking and driving. And now police need to learn a lesson too. Now this guy was saying, I'm trying to save you. These cops are going to kill you. But in reality, these cops should have been protecting Miss Hunter from a man like this since she was in their custody. Hunter says she has decided to file a lawsuit in the case in hopes that policies will be changed statewide that require a police officer to stay with a suspect once they have been arrested. Dewan Rollins remains locked up in the Oakland County Jail, awaiting trial on a multitude of charges. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Just wild. That's pretty one of a kind, yeah. isn't it? Yeah.